second group here, Joshua Josephs, Dylan Sampson, Miles Kitzman. Patrick, we'll start with you. Dylan, you uh, got a lot of help on your record-breaking touchdown there. What was it like in the middle of all that humanity as you were getting pushed five yards in the end zone? Yeah, I was just... I was just, I ain't gonna lie, I'm surprised they ain't blow the whistle, but nah, that, that, that meant a lot to me, though. I'm gonna I'm a cherish that play forever, because I think my teammates wanted me to get that, like, as as much, or probably even more than I did, and, like, even got Nico, and and he came in and pushed people, you know, so, like, that just shows, like, you know, the brotherhood we got, and, you know, how much we want each other to succeed. Eric, and then Wes. Coach over here. He, he walked us through your strip sack. It was obviously a huge turning point in the game, the little yeah. points. Uh... Just use my speed, man. Just prepar preparation. Just had me in the right position at the right time, and I seen the ball. I just went for the ball. That's pretty much it, man. It's been working. Wes, Dylan, on that touchdown, when you're kind of spinning around and all that humanity around you, and do you have any concept of how close you are to the end zone there? Because you're trying to protect the ball and looking around, or? Time to go which way forward. It's just I keep my feet driving and and especially when I feel my teammates helping me. Uh I don't know how close I was, but I was like, I'm gonna keep going until they blow the whistle. And that's what my teammates did too. So I mean, yeah. John in the back. Dylan as a senior at touchdown, you had twenty two touchdowns. How much hard how much harder is it to get nineteen in the SEC as opposed to twenty two in Louisiana? Uh it just on the body it's just it is it's harder, you know. In high school, it's, it's simple. I could play a game and, and wake up on Saturday and be fine. But, you know, uh, it's a blessing for sure, and I, I, I take none of it for granted. But you definitely feel the, the wear and tear more in high, uh, in college than high school. David and then Paige. Tom, it was an active night for the tight ends. What, what led to that? Uh, yeah, definitely just play call. Um, you know, seeing weaknesses in the defense, um, and the coaches saw that tight ends were going to have a really big opportunity, and they put us in places and positions to be successful, and we just went out there and played ball. Dylan, how much has it set in for you maybe that you are now the pool leader and people season touchdowns, you're breaking it in the early 100-year-old record? How much of that has set in? Oh. Uh. You know, I mean, I think it hit me kind of, you know, in a touchdown when it happened. Uh, like I said, it's a blessing. And, um, like, to break that record and, like, Gene and his family, you know, who, who've who held that record for so long, like, it's a huge shout-out to them too because I'm just blessed to be able to break that record. But, you know, now it's just like, you know, how far can I push the needle? You know, how far can we go as an offense? You know, uh, it's not over. I'm glad I accomplished that. Uh, and now it's time to, you know, keep putting more stats up there and, and keep being dominant. Adam and then Jimmy. Um, Dylan, some some teams that don't play their absolute best, like this, lose these type of games in November. Is there a sense of satisfaction that you guys won and didn't play your best, or is it some frustration that you could have played better? Uh, I don't, I don't think it's satisfaction. I think, you know, and you you never take a win for granted, you know. So I mean, you definitely. It, like appreciate the fight and strain from everybody because football's not going to be perfect. And rival games like this are always kind of, you know, going to be exactly what that is, a rivalry. But uh, you take a step back, <laughs> we wake up tomorrow and we watch film, like this game is, you know, very close to being like 40, 50 points, at least from the offense side of the ball. So at some point in time, we, we got to flip the switch and, and, you know, all of us, you know, included, just stop making little mistakes that hurt us. Jimmy? You know, Coach uh, Heifel said that uh, Nico gets is a young quarterback who gets better with every snap. Do you see that? Yeah, I think uh, a lot of people could see that today. He was very calm. A lot of his throws were, you know, he's making his reads. Um, I think if you pay attention to his feet, he was kind of calm with his feet more than he's been. But, uh, you know, just the level of composure, you know, you see from him in practice, the way he practices, uh, he's just been taking attention to detail every game and getting better week by week. Patrick and then Vince. Miles, a couple co couple questions for you. Nico said on your touchdown that you made it sound like you maybe weren't supposed to be where you were. Did you take us through that play? And also, did you also kind of describe what it was like for the rest of the offense to see Dylan get that record tonight? Yeah, so uh, that play that I ended up scoring on, uh, kind of a pick slip play. Um, it's made for a man coverage, uh, holding. Uh, slipping across the formation and I'm supposed to track who's running with them and I push up to track and obviously it's zoned so nobody's running with them um, and we had never really repped in practice this week versus zone 
Um, so obviously you push up and like nobody's there and you're like, all right. And it all happens like that. So just turning around and then me and Nico locking eyes and then obviously you're out in space and he throws the ball up. Um, that's just the kind of player that Nico is, not freaking out or anything like that. Um, and luckily enough, I just happened to turn around. So, yeah, that was great by Nico. And, and to see Dylan, you, kind of, you guys as his teammates see him get that record. Yeah. Um, you know, I've told Dylan from the beginning, like, man, I'll always block for you. Um, and, uh, man, this team has a culture. Um, and, I lo- like, we have such a deep love for each other. Um, and, man, for just me to be here uh, – you know, to tell my kids one day, be like, man, I played with Dylan Sampson. Um, I blocked for him. Like, I was there when he broke the record. Like, that just means the world to me and that I could just be a part of it. Yeah, we'll go to Ben Stone, do a few more after that. Wes, Ben, and then Jimmy to finish out. Dylan, on, uh, on y'all's first touchdown, Peyton Lewis was in the game the entire drive, and he got a, a, the touchdown run. What would you think of his performance tonight and then working to try to get back in action? Yeah, uh, man, I think he went out there and – you know, you can see the more carries he started to get, the more comfortable he started. And uh, he's a very explosive runner. Um, and you could just see him gaining confidence on that drive. And he was tired at the end, just like we all are, you know. But uh, coach trusted him, and, you know, he trusted himself to go and finish that drive, and he deserved it, you know, uh, along with everybody else who helped him get in the end zone. But, you know, I'm proud of him, and I know he's going to continue growing. Josh, in terms of going defensively, there have been so many times this season where you've just – you know, you've had to make big plays, right? Yeah. Maybe a couple years ago it was the offense that would keep going, and this year it's been the defense to kind of get things turned around. How, how much pride do you all take in that, your ability to kind of carry things at times? Um, we take a lot of pride in it. Uh, we feel like we gave up too many yards this, and honestly too many points like, and too many big plays. So when things like that happens, uh, we just try to bounce back and just next play model. Coach, Coach Banks uh, draws it up for us every play, man. So <clears throat> he has us in the right position. So it, it really sucks that we gave up the amount of yards and touchdowns that we did. But then we just got to learn from what our mistakes and what we did on the field. And we just got to get in that film room and apply it to our next game. Two more, Ben, and then Jimmy to finish out. Yeah, Josh, what adjustments were made? Uh, there to maybe clean up some things that Kentucky was able to produce, and, and how much did you and James enjoy kind of going back-to-back possessions there to, to end the end of possession? For adjustments, I say it's really like they're a run-heavy team, and a lot of times we were like out of position. Just if the back was near us, like we should have been tighter, and we weren't. So like on just little things like that, like. When we finally made them adjustments because we, we really prepared and planned for this the whole week. And <clears throat> I, I guess you could say we came out slow or whatever. But, like, once we prepared and or once we adjusted the little things, including, like, on the D-line, we were able to just get knocked back and get tackles for loss. Shout out Big O. Shout out Bryson Easton, Jackson Moore. Shout out everybody, man, because everybody in the interior was really just making – Make it mayhem just happen. And seeing me and James, man, that's my brother. So seeing him get a sack after I got a sack, it just love, man. It, it got me right, and I really was excited to make another one. So just seeing that is is really exciting, man. I got much love and respect for bro. So I'm, I'm glad he got that because after that, that was a three and out, right? Yeah. So we. We was rolling. We was rolling, man. So, like, I'm glad he got that offense, was doing their thing. So, yeah. <laughs> Dylan, were you angry after your fumble? And does that make you run even harder if that's possible? Yeah, um, I mean, angry, angry isn't kind of the word. It's just like, you know, kind of frustrated with myself because, you know, like, I pride myself, like, I take care of the ball, like, that, that's not in my nature, you know, and then kind of to do that, like, back-to-back weeks, um, like, that can't fly, like, going forward, every possession counts, you know, um, regardless, like, there's no excuse for it, um, I need to do a better job, like, <clears throat> taking care of it, but um, it never, it never upsets me to the point where it, it affects my game, the only thing it makes me want to do is just get out there um, quicker, you know, so, you know, some people might think I'm frustrated or like I can't move on. Like, I mean, I moved on. I'm, I'm just ready to like get to the next play and get things going. So, um, you know, that that that's kind of all it is. But just 
that's what this game is about, putting things behind you, good or bad. Like, you know, it's never over till it's over, so you got to keep playing. Thanks, everybody. Appreciate it. Good night, everybody. Thank you all. Thank you, guys. Thank you.